why I'm confused. Where is the former head of the New York Police Department's intelligence unit? He says the FBI, the New York Police Department, and DHS all had the information they needed to see that there would likely be violence. What failed, he says, was the analysis. Yeah, so apparently the sports fans down there, the DHS and FBI, were unable to assess that a uh, joint art exhibit run by Alicia Masters of the Fantastic Four and people from Latveria would result in a fight. Real crackerjack team. It turns out that despite its critical role in identifying threats here at home, the division is not seen as a plum assignment. If you're a 23-year-old and you want to get into the intelligence business, the fun stuff, uh, you are not picking DHS INA, and, and that has been a struggle for the department from the beginning. Within the intelligence agencies, DHS INA was not an equal partner. It might not even have been viewed as a, as a cousin. It was a distant friend that you tolerated who showed up to the party. We can all agree the exhibit was doomed from the start. In other news, J. Jonah Jameson, fresh off his failed radio show, Get to Work, has been having his tabloid, Threats and Menaces, follow Spider-Man. It has now been confirmed that he was behind the recent robot attack in New York City. Raising the question, how many hordes of robots can you unleash on Manhattan before you begin to face stiffer penalties? The following message is from the New York Emergency Response System. There is what looks like veins of gold covering the skyscrapers of the city. We were not sure what to do with this one. Maybe you should get away from this, maybe it's gold. The city's lawyers are saying definitely get away from it. Let's see here, we had Children of the Atom 3. That's where we just got to find out about their backstory. They went to space, one of them's a streamer. You got Guardians of the Galaxy 14, where a bunch of aliens kidnap Spider-Man. You got Heroes Reborn, Hyperion and the Imperial Squad, Peter Parker, and the Amazing Shutterbug. Heroes Reborn 2. This is all just stuff that's happening this alternate reality. The way they're using Hyperion is a lot of fun because he's the biggest hero in this world is Superman, essentially. But you see the crazy side of him coming out, too in a bunch of interesting ways mainly that he would fight to keep this world as it is because he likes being the main hero simple appreciation of it you got Silk number three where her uh, kind of building Silk's rogues gallery you have Spider-Man Spider-Shadow and that's just that Elseworld tale where what if he had kept the symbiote you have Spider-Woman number 12, there's a fight in jail with sword fighters. And we had X-Corp number 1, where they were um, branching out, the mutants are, with their industry. And then we have X-Factor, which takes place on the psychic plane. and had a wonderful joke where someone was trying to figure out what they're going to do for dinner, but having to go through a psychic to do it. Overall, it's really just a three on the scale of uh, terrifying weeks the poor people of the Marvel Universe have to experience. So not bad.